you're watching Always Analog, where we celebrate analog technology in the digital world. Welcome everybody to this installment of Always Analog and we've got a pencil review today. Uh, we're going to look at these uh, USA Gold Premium American Wood Pencils. So this was an eight pack of pencils. Can't remember where I got them. Uh, I believe it was uh, one of the big box stores. I paid about a dollar for the eight pencils. Uh, proudly made in Tennessee. So these are American made pencils, uh, teacher recommended. It also has the seal of uh, sustained yield forest wood. So that's definitely a good thing. Um, it has the uh, Pencil Makers Association certification seal on the back. So uh, there are a couple of operating pencil factories uh, in, pen in Tennessee, and so I'm not sure who made these, but that's where these came from. So they, uh, again, they are unsharpened. Uh, there's eight in a pack, and if we take a look at one here, uh, Amer America's Pencil USA Gold uh, number 2HB is the hardness of the core in the center. These are painted gold, uh, yellow gold, a very standard kind of issue pencil for school or office. It has a gold tone, bright ferrule on the end of the pencil along with a blue band that goes around which matches the the blue imprint uh, on the gold pencil I mean it's a nice looking it's a nice looking pencil I think uh, the paint job's pretty good uh, the ferrule is attached well it's good and snug uh, the package says a smudge resistant eraser We'll take a look at that uh, in more detail, but uh, uh, the pencil overall uh, looks nice. So we're going to uh, sharpen this one up here. Uh, at first we will sharpen it using uh, an electric pencil. Put that in there. There we go. Okay. <sighs> nice point. Uh, has a nice uh, cedary kind of wood smell to it, to the aroma. Uh, I'll wear this point down a little bit and we can give it a sharpen as well with a manual pencil sharpener and see how it does there. But uh, sharpens nicely, evenly, and uh, the wood is, it, it's, a, it's a very good wood that they are using in this pencil. So let's uh, come on back and put the pencil to paper, so to speak. And see so how we're going to give this USA Gold number two pencil a little writing test on just a standard legal pad here and uh, see how it writes. Again, it is a a number two, so I expect it to have a relatively darker line and softer feel, but let's just let's just try it. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog something we normally save for typing, but I think it's good to use in handwriting as well because it employs all the letters of the alphabet. You know what? It writes nicely, very smooth. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their country. Nice. 
Uh, has a good feel um, and writes very smoothly. There's not a lot of uh, graphite dust on the page. Uh, I think uh, we'll try maybe printing here. Something from the package. Proudly made in USA. Pencil review. Yeah, nice. Uh, I would say that uh, it's very smooth. It's pretty much in terms of what you would expect from a number two pencil. Uh, again, let's look at the point. The point retention uh, is pretty good. And I, I definitely tend to put more pressure on uh, what I'm writing with. So I tend to wear, wear it down a little bit. But so far, uh, I would say I, got, I could certainly write a whole page uh, at this rate before I would need to sharpen it. So that's that's great. Now um, let's put a little pencil mark here and if we give it a smudge yeah uh, you get a little bit coming off uh, so and then again, it's because of the graphite, the, the softness of the graphite. You do get a little smudge, but but not bad, not bad. You can see it just really carries this far. Um, the other thing I think we could do here is take a look at the eraser. So it does come with an eraser. The eraser is, says it's smudge resistant. So let's see. You know what? Not bad. Not bad, the eraser that's on there. We do have some crumbs here from the eraser, but I think it does, a, I would say, a decent job. Let's try, I've got a natural uh, rubber eraser here. Give that a try, see how that does. Erases nicely. Probably a little better, actually, than the eraser that is attached to the pencil. And we'll try a synthetic uh, eraser here that's more of a plastic vinyl style. You know, I would say erasability, it's probably, oh, a 97% vanished. So, uh, Good erasing action here. Good. Even the the eraser that's on the, the top of the pencil is pretty decent. So um, the other thing is I've got another one here that I was using earlier with a kind of a little bit more of a worn down point. Let's run that into a manual sharpener just to see what we get here. And not as long of a point uh, as the electric sharpener and it's not a long point manual sharpener it's just kind of a, a standard one but uh, you do have a nice little point in there sharpened pretty cleanly and uh, we're gonna say USA gold pencil and I think uh, this would be a very good go-to everyday pencil for students, uh, office work, uh, general writing. Yeah, this is a really a, a decent pencil. So uh, certainly worth uh, eight for a dollar, which is about what I paid. So I would uh, I would buy these again. So thank you for watching and we'll be back with, with more reviews of analog technology.